One of the most important things you need to know in SOLIDWORKS when doing a flow sim is the cross-sectional area of your part. So usually you'd refer to that as the projected area, which you'd think would be easy, but apparently not. So I found this forum post in 2012, and they had a couple ideas, um, most of them relating to two-dimensional bodies, like this one here. It's very simple. Or this one here. Also pretty straightforward. But you know, it's kind of a long thread and it's old, and they never actually found a good answer. So I was doing this for super mileage, and I figured, well, what if we there was a way to like project a sketch? And apparently there is. So this is the super mileage shell from when I figured out how to do this. And now if I go to a view, you'll see this weird thing back here. This is a projected area sketches like laid on top of each other, and then all extruded in one solid body. So how the heck do you do that? Well, first you need to put a plane, in my case plane 30, at just some distance from everything else so it won't get in the way. And then you need to figure out what sketches you want to project. And since my super mileage shell here is a loft, I chose every loft profile because that just made sense. So here's what you do. You select your plane first, and then you select the sketch. So now they're both highlighted. Then you go up to Insert, Derived Sketch. It's that easy. So once again, plane, and then you want the sketch that you want, in my case, sketch 25. Insert, derived sketch, and then it'll make this one. So after you do that, you just do that a bunch of times and you get all of these sketches that I have here already extruded. You can see they're the exact same. And the feature tree will tell you which one it is if you lose track. And then just uh, extrude them all to some thickness, in my case, just tenth of an inch, whatever. And make sure you merge the result so they're all one solid item. And then you get this nice little thing here, which has every single profile of your entire assembly or part all nicely laid out. Then you just select the face, go to your Evaluate tab, click on Measure, and um, it's on the wrong window. There we go. It'll tell you the exact area of your part relative to the direction you're moving. That's pretty much it. 